Hi there. Have you ever wanted to share your location, but not with everyone, just the people you really care about? Well, that's why we built Near. And I'm going to take a minute to show you how to get it all set up. The page that you see here is the page that you see right after you've hit sign up. What Near is asking you for is permission to connect to your contacts. When you push this button, what Near does is analyze the people that you call and text most to come up with a recommended list of the people that we think should be in your inner circle. Your inner circle is the group of people that you're most close to, for which sharing things like location doesn't seem weird, it just seems a natural part of your life. So you can see for me, it's done pretty good actually. It's got my wife Amber at the top slot. It's got Sandy, but I don't want to share location with Sandy all the time, so I don't want her in my inner circle. But Christine, that's my mom, so I'm going to go ahead and tap her in. And when I'm done, I could add more people if I wanted to, but in this case, two is good, and I'll show you how to add more people later. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the Done button. And that creates your first group. Here I am, E and H, but I don't have a location status. The way that you get that set up is you go into your places. Near by default thinks that there are certain places that you should be, that you might be willing to share, but it's, it's not everywhere. In this case, what we've got is, you know, you can add your home, you can add your work, you can add places like a school or a favorite place, or you can add any place that you want. What I'll go ahead and do is add my work. So I click once on add my work to change the focus state to that place, and I'll click again and the card will turn over. What it's done is it's collected where you are currently and defaulted the map to start at that point. You can go ahead and click on satellite view, which allows you to drill down real close and pick exactly the building that you want to share. You'll notice that it picks up the address of the place that you're hovering over. In this case, 5775 Morehouse Drive. That's the way that you'll know that you've done it right. And the label that's up here is work, but you can call it whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to call the place where we work near headquarters. And you can see I've got near HQ in there. It's targeted right on the place of uh, where I want to be. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. Now, near headquarters is a place that I've begun to share. But what's important, when people see where I am, they don't see the address that is associated with near headquarters. They just see the name of the place that you give it. What we've done with Near is say, you don't always want to share your location with everyone, and that includes, you know, you might want to limit by times a day. If you click back on People button, you'll see the menu options again, and I can change the times in which I want this group to be seeing my location. In this case, it's defaulted to all day, every day, but if for whatever reason you wanted to change that, say these people cannot see what you're doing on the weekends, it's very easy, just take off Saturday and Sunday and hit Done and that group no longer will see, receive your updates on those days. If I go back to the, the Me page now, you'll see those three steps that we've done, creating your first group, which is your inner circle, going to set up one, at least one place that you're willing to share with, and then changing the times in which a group sees your location is the three things that you need to do to get near set up. The last thing that you'll see on the uh, quick start menu is just a note that says you should share it with your close friends. Near is not going to work if you're the only one on the Near system. You need to have at least one other person for which you're willing to share a location. And when they've added you to a group and you have them in a group, you both have places set up that you're willing to share a location with, that information will start to automatically be exchanged.